this webinar is an overview of embedded reporting solution so this is the today's session talk and i will be covering all these topics with you proceeding with that i will show you a real time demo on how to embed the reports that is stored in the enterprise reporting and gold reports cloud before moving into the topic let me see a quick dis description about an application a software application runs on a private server or in a cloud on a windows based server or mobile platform basically it is accessible over the internet this definition of application is in terms of from the developer side almost everything we use for development or day to day work is nothing but an app now let me explain why reporting plays a vital role in every software application or a solution for this explanation let me show you a sales software which i have uh, developed in my uh, app and uh, integrated in my the mind so for this um, so here i have the embedded.boldreports.com domain in which i have a embedded reporting solution this is actually a embedded reporting solution for my sales software which i have developed in my company so uh, here you can see we have uh, two reports called the company sales and data sales with the sales report you can able to get the historical data of the sales that has been happened in the period of time and uh, the report can be uh, extracted in the paginated format and uh, with this report you can able to get the clear idea of the sales based on the components and it can be useful to analyze the data and uh, improve the performance and the productivity in your company and uh, this data sales will uh, return the sales report based on the region so that you can uh, filter out the revenue based on the region and uh, focus the sales and the productivity from your side the right reporting can have a significant impact on an organization fundamentally it's changing the way people perform their jobs and how the decisions are made it may increase the productivity and the employee satisfaction it will improve the analysis and decision making skills just imagine that you are developing a product let's take an example like the same sales software one is building a sales software and wish to get the historical sales report like the sales opportunities new leads and closed deals for this the product ceo decides to build a reporting solution for his product in general company to follows either one of the two options let me go back to the slide and explain you the same the first option is creating a dedicated it team to build the reporting application from the scratch he invested and created that it team but after a while the requirement of the reporting solution is far bigger and complex than building the sales software itself the second so second option is getting the licensing software from a reporting vendor either a cloud vendor or a on premise vendor preferring cloud vendor is also a good option and easy to go but usually cloud vendor will be charging based on the users count again the team who purchased the software would feel a bit more expensive for a part of their application and the next option is deploying the reporting solution in the same environment as on premise where the app is hosted and embed the reports that built on the reporting tool into the application directly this look to be a prominent solution our embedded reporting can be adapted for both these options now let us see what is the embedded reporting the goal of embedded reporting is to view the reports directly from your application the use between the application for a quick idea let me come back to the same report here you can see the reporting solution is directly embedded into my application itself where if a sales manager or a sales representative came into the sales software and wants to see a report he don't want to switch into a different application and see the report and just to see the company sales or the territory sales based on the given filters so with this the user experience will be fine and the look and feel will be the same and the non it team can be able to analyze the reports easily coming to the second point it is fully customizable embedded solution where developer can tailor each segment of report paid all of them as designed as the api based approach with embedding the report into your application it would become a single point access for all your needs for example 
if a HR manager want to get the employee report for a selective period, she want to export the data and import that to a third party reporting tool. For this, she wants to learn the tool and understand the output format, which may slow down the process. User nowadays wants to easily analyze the data in a real time for data driven decisions. They want to own their data and their data analytics. Embedded reporting makes that ownership possible. Simply saying, anyone can get the reports in readable format without switching to any of the applications whenever they need it. Now let me explain how to set up the embedded reporting and the process of uh, embedding into your applications. It's a simple three-step process. You have to either install or create a tenant for the bold reports application. Add users and groups into the report server to form like an organization. And then design the reports with our designer and publish to the server. And finally, embed the desired report into your application with any of the below embedding methods. The reports can be embedded into your application uh, in two ways, mainly the iframe embedding and the deep embedding. The iframe embedding means the report will be rendered inside an iframe where the authentication will be supplied from the report server. All you need is to just copy the embed code and paste it in your app. The deep embedding means the report viewer component can be placed into your application like the other components such as uh, grid, chart, etc. The reports will be rendered on the go without any further request. We must pause the authentication to render the report securely. The authentication token can be generated via two ways. The first one is the username and password, and the second one is the username and embed secret key. Let me explain in detail in the demo part. And apart from the report we are embedding, we have also provided an option to embed the high reach report designer into your app directly. With this, you can design and publish the interactive reports right from your application. Additionally, to embed the full functional reporting solution, we have provided the REST API support in the report server application. With this, you can able to list the reports owned by a particular user. You can add reports to the user. You can delete report for a particular user. And you can even schedule the reports for a particular recipients. Let me explain how the iframe embedding can be achieved using the structured report. First of all, you have to log into the application you wish to share the report, either it may be a cloud tenant or an on-premise tenant, and navigate to the report and click on the share. And after that, click on the get embed code, and uh, inside the embed code, you can uh, customize the embedding options such as uh, report commands and views can be even enabled or disabled from the embed of the report. And after that, you just copy the code and uh, paste it directly into the application and run the applications. Once it is done, it will be prompted for login and uh, you have to log in with the Bold Reports credential. That's all, the reports will be rendered into your application via iframe. Let me show you a short demo on iframe memory. So here I have a cloud tenant and uh, in this, I just wish to share the company sales report. This share button will be uh, visible only for the owners. So if you are the owner for this particular report, the share button will be visible. And I just uh, click on the share. And getting the embed code. Here you can uh, turn on or off the comments and views and uh, click on copy. The copy code can be placed in any HTML file or any applications. I'm just uh, pasting it in a default HTML file, which I have already in my system. This HTML file have the basic default uh, HTML tags like the head, body, and all. And I'm just pasting the iframe inside the HTML file and saving it. And once the file is opened, it will be prompted for a login to the code repos application. Yeah. So if we click on the login, it will check for existing authentication. If you have already logged in, in the same browser, then it will be loaded directly using SSO. 
just it's checking for the authentication and since i have already logged in the reports uh, started to load and uh, it's rendered now in the app application itself from this you can able to even export via the popular format like uh, pdf excel word html etc and even you can print the reports directly from here and that's all about the iframe embedding uh, the only drawback in iframe embedding is the login prompt action for this uh, we have uh, enabled the two visibilities called the public visibility and private visibility if you want to hide the login action you, you can mark the report as public and uh, embed that report into your application but uh, anyone with the url can be able to open the report without any user credentials and the second one is the private visibility which is the default one it is accessible to the users and uh, it will definitely prompt for this will be for the user who has lead permission to the specific report the second approach is the deep embedding so the main uh, reason for uh, switching to the deep embedding is the login prompt action so if you use the deep embedding then the authentication token will be supplied in the back end and so the reports will be rendered securely without any uh, user interactions so now let me explain how the deep embedding process will happen so as described in the flowchart it's a three step process first one is to integrate the bold reports component into your app it may be a cloud tenant or else a on premise tenant you have to integrate that component into your application and then you need to refer the necessary resources like uh, scripts styles that are necessary for rendering the report and second step is the token generation action so which is uh, used to render the report securely it can be generated via two ways the first one is the username and password and the second one is the username and embed secret key and the three third major step is the report properties that are required for rendering the report like the authentication token and the report path with which you want to render in the report your component let me show you a short demo of uh, embedding a report using username and password consider i want to embed all the reports that are stored in the particular cloud tenant for this i am going to design a simple sample which is uh, similar to this in the left side menu i will be listing all the reports that are accessible for this particular user and in the right side tab you can able to render the selected report for this the first part is uh, referring the resources for rendering this report this can be found in the help documentation link for this demo i have a uh, created a simple empty web application from the visual studio and in the home controller i have added an index action in the index action i am going to refer the resources that are required for rendering this report i am just copying it from here and paste it into my application and below that i have added a division to place the report viewer component uh, element and uh, in the document ready i have added the report viewer component method so in that uh, i have initialized the bold report viewer component for this report viewer we have to supply the server url and the service url which is uh, described in the slide that uh, it may be a cloud tenant or else on premise tenant and you have to pass the service authorization token and the report path that is required to render the report so let me explain uh, how to take all this from the server side so in the index action i have uh, created two parameters called category name and report name to run the reports dynamically so in say that uh, i am going to paste the url from which i want to render the reports 
that's the cloud tenant. And uh, the username of that uh, tenant and password of that tenant. Once it is uh, configured, I'm going to generate the token below details. To generate a token based on uh, username and password, we have provided a sample here in the same help documentation link. It will be found under the enterprise developer guide. And uh, here I'm just uh, copying this particular method. and paste it over there so for simplification i'm just uh, going to the method and uh, i'm just pausing the username and password that is uh, taken from the server side and uh, this is the token endpoint from which you can able to generate the token i'm just supplying all these uh, values to the api endpoint and the result will provide the token that is a uh, required for the authentication. Once the token is obtained, I'm just pausing the authorization token and the server URL, which is the bold tenant URL slash uh, reporting slash API slash reports. This will be the endpoint for uh, rendering the reports using the cloud APIs. And uh, finally, I'm just uh, pausing the list of reports that is accessible for the particular user. This can be obtained from the report server API. As already mentioned, we have exposed a lot of uh, REST APIs to make the report server crude operations uh, feasible. So this is the endpoint for getting the reports that are available for the particular user. And to call this uh, endpoint, you need to pass the authentication token in the authorization header. And so the report API will be accessed uh, securely and the uh, reports that are available for the Particular users will be retrieved in the response, and I'm just dieseling this object to the readable format and passing that to the server side back and uh, returning to the view file. These are all about the sample which I have uh, developed to embed the application. Let me run this sample and uh, show you how it uh, works in the real time. So, if you are uh, embedding this, this application for a uh, um, wide range of company like uh, it has uh, um, many users means then you can dynamically change this application to work based on the login user and password so for this uh, you have to maintain the same username and password for the repository application as well as the user application so consider if you are uh, developing a sales software means the password can be similar and so uh, you can able to get the password uh, whenever the user logged in and uh, with this you can supply the credentials to the get authorization token and uh, the token can be embedded and uh, make the reporting application easily Let me wait for some time to under this report Yeah, the report solution sample has been uh, added successfully and uh, you can see in the left side the list of reports that are accessible for the particular user is listed here and if I click on any of the report, this uh, particular report will be rendered in the right side rendering page. And from here you can able to uh, print or uh, export securely. In order to export the report securely, you have to pause the report uh, authorization token in the export helper also. For this, we have added a method called on export click. And in on export click, I have passed the service authorization token to the particular element. And so the reports will be exported securely. And the data that are owned by the particular user will be exported in the desired format that's all about the reports embedding using uh, 
authorization token um, consider if you are uh, using any other uh, um, authentication like oauth or any other else then you cannot maintain the same password for report server and uh, your application to overcome this scenario we have introduced the uh, embed secret key functionality so with this embed secret key you can able to use the single hash key for authenticating all the users this can be found from the settings page under the embed tab if you enable the embed authentication uh, then you will uh, get a secret key here with this you can uh, able to generate the authorization token in a dynamic way since i have already generated the embed secret key it is uh, prompting for resetting the secret key so it is simply a 20 character string and it, it is a random string with this embed secret key and the username combination you can able to generate the authorization token let me show you a simple sample for that approach also so this is the similar uh, application in which we are generating the token using this username and embed secret key let me explain in the end about the difference between the username and password combination and the username and embed secret key combination here i am going to embed the same light tenant the same user and the embed secret key for this and uh, the generate token method will be deferred for uh, password approach and the embed secret key approach the code snippet for generating token using embed secret key is also available in our help documentation and uh, I'm just to copy paste the same code in the sample also. So here you can find the same get token method in which we are pausing the username, uh, nuns, signature, and the timestamp to make this secure secure key in a secure manner. And I'm just uh, using the same function in my sample. And here I'm going to pass the token URL, the username, the embed secret key, and the additional two parameters that are required for uh, generating this embed secret key. So from this generate token method, you will get an authorization token for the particular user. And with this, I'm going to render this sample. The other functionalities are same as like the username and password approach. The only difference is the authorization token which can be obtained in a dynamic approach. So the main reason for uh, introducing this approach is to make the embedding solution in a generic way. Suppose uh, if you are using a different authentication approach in your application and uh, we are using a normal authentication means, then it is difficult to save the password for every user and uh, synchronizing the password with uh, both applications. To overcome this, we have introduced this hash key method, and uh, this hash key is unique, um, unique for all the users. And uh, only you can change the username, and uh, you can generate the password with the single authorization key itself. So that uh, in a runtime, you can uh, able to generate the authorization token based on the login username, which can be obtained from the HTTP context itself. Let me show you how it may differ in the based on the users. Who logged into the application yes now the same sample has been rendered based on the demo user and the embed secret key which is supplied to the particular user and uh, the reports will be rendered securely like the same approach So all the functionalities which uh, happened here is similar to the password approach only. Let me show you how it differs from the previous approach and how it is uh, easy to manage based on the dynamic users. Consider I am going to um, 
line with the different user like the same admin user and just uh, running this application means then the reports that are available for the shankar user will be listed for that and those reports will be rendered securely since uh, if you are running a large scale application uh, application means it will be easier to just pass the username and uh, keeping the embed secret key as unique yeah now the reports has been uh, listed shankarlingam user so it's a simpler way to uh, make this application in a, a dynamic based uh, one so that the reports can be uh, varied based on the user easily so if i run the ticket sales analysis it will be rendered in here so so that's all about the um, embedding based on uh, username and password and the username and embed secret key the same approach is followed for the on-premise also the only difference in the sample is uh, the report your endpoints so here the cloud is single tenant and so we are directly accessing the report viewer component since on-premise is a multi-tenant application we need to pass the tenant name in the url whereas the site slash site one which is the tenant identifier for my on-premise app and uh, the token generation is also i am going to change the url so that's all the thing i need to change and if i pause the on-premise details here it will be rendered based on the on-premise app so both these samples will be available in the help documentation link also and also we will uh, upload this sample in the um, youtube video of later on the webinar session you can download it from there let me move on to the next topic so apart from uh, embedding the report viewer now let us see how to embed the report designer app into the application so with this method the report server do not prompt to log in whenever you design or publishing the report uh, it is a simple three-step process as like the report viewer embedding you need to integrate the report tenant either it may be a cloud or uh, on-premise and you need to refer, refer the resources that are required to design the reports and uh, finally you need to integrate the report service into the application right away let me explain you how the sample can be generated with this let me move on to the same sample and here i have a Added a new controller for designer, and uh, in the designer, I am going to pass the same credentials which I used for uh, viewer part, and uh, I am using the same generate token approach to generate the token since it's uh, changed for on premise. I'm just reverting the changes. And now the visual control is uh, ready to access based on the cloud live tenant. And uh, the token is generated based on the embed secret key approach. The, then let us move on to the view file where we are going to add the designer. So this is the view file I have just uh, added for uh, placing the report designer file in this i just need to pass the report server url and report service url this report server url is the url from which you are going to publish the report either it may be a cloud or an on-premise tenant and the report service url is the service through which you are going to design the report this is the default endpoint for all the cloud tenants 
that is the service.boldreports.com with this you can able to contact the report service and design the reports in your design way um, and then i am going to refer the resources that are required for the report designer page this can be found from the help documentation link itself and i am just pasting the report your element report designer element and uh, rendering the report designer with the report service url and the authorization token so with this authorization token the report designer will uh, work securely and uh, the data can be published to the desired tenant uh, without any data flaw let me run this sample and uh, show you how this works I'm just changing the credentials to the demo user account in the viewer part. So let us wait to load the application the sample browser so here also like the same report viewer if you want to uh, embed the report designer using on-premise tenant you have to change the particular uh, endpoint alone so that the APIs will be contacted based on the supplied uh, tenant URL. So that's the major difference between the viewer and the uh, user, and uh, all the applications will be working securely using the authorization token. Now I'm just uh, navigating to the designer page. Yeah, the interactive report designer has been uh, open right into your application itself. From this, you can able to generate a report with the data that is available in the cloud server. I'm just using the invoice data, which is already there. And uh, with this invoice data, I'm just going to design the report. I have the RID field in this particular data and I'm just uh, removing the remaining columns. Just naming the particular column and uh, going to add a text box. Yeah, I just finishing finished designing this report and it can be previewed from the report designer itself. Yeah, you can able to cross verify the details in the preview window and you can able to export or print right from here itself. I am just closing this preview and uh, going to save this report. Um, here we, you have uh, two options. If you uh, decide to save this report in audio format to a local device you can choose the two device option or if you want to publish to the connected report server you can choose the two server method so with this you will be listed with the list of categories that are available for the particular user here i have a sample reports category and inside that i'm going to save this report with the demo test invoice and uh, if you can save it's done the design report will be published to the report server and uh, right from your sample you can able to see the report that is published to the report server yeah here you can see the demo test invoice and if you click on the report it will be rendered inside the 
Report service action. Now let us come back to the slide and uh, summarizing the embedded reporting. So embedded reports uh, purposes and uh, why the embedded reporting will be a prominent solution for you. Let us discuss about this here. So the embedded reports lives within the same environment. If a customer deploys your application on the cloud, whether it may be a public or private, the embedded report is deployed with it. If the application is deployed on premise, the embedded report is on premise too. We let you take the complete ownership in granting the bold report server for your organization. The look and feel of bold reports application is flexible and complete enough to represent your organization. Embedded reports operates with single sign on, and so the users don't want to log into the report server again. Users who have access to the data in an application can visualize and analyze the data as well. Embedded reporting does not charge based on users. It is just a flat monthly fee per application, simple and predictable. No per customer or per user charges ever. We can even customize the pricing based on the business needs. Simply, it is an easy to use uh, reporting application. Now let me explain you the benefits of using this embedded reporting. As already said, the reports can be embedded securely. Not just the report embedding, it also includes the customization, designer embedding via redistribute plan. We can maintain the data isolation based on the user who is logged into the application. For example, you are distributing your application for various companies and all of their data is stored in a single database. In such case, user from companies A data should not be visible to the user in company B. With the embedded reports and uh, user based filter concept, it's possible to isolate the data based on the login user. With the REST API support, you can create a recurring schedule alerts for the recipients right from your application. The exporter report will be sent into your mailbox at the scheduled time. Thank you, everyone.